Are you looking for a great and affordable smartphone for $99 that works well and won't give you any problems? Well, if so, then continue watching because I think the Moto E5 Cruise might be the smartphone for you. This specific version of the phone is the Cricut Wireless Carrier version and at the moment, this is an exclusive device for Cricut. Now, there are some technical differences between the Moto E5 Cruise and the other Moto E5 phones that are offered on other carriers, so pay close attention to the specs. The device features 4G LTE connectivity, a 1.4 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 processor, 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal memory, and has support for up to 256 GB of microSD card expansion. In addition, the device features a 5.2 inch 720p display an 8 megapixel camera on the rear, a 5 megapixel camera on the front, and there's an LED flash on both the front and back cameras. There's an FM radio inside, and there's a 2800 milliamp hour battery that is removable. Now the front facing flash and removable battery are the two features that are fairly unique to this device. I don't see that too often on many other budget phones. In the box we have a variety of items. We have the wall adapter for charging, we have the micro USB cable for charging and data transfer, we have the battery, we have some warranty and information literature, and finally, we have the actual Moto E5 Cruise itself. The actual phone itself is very sleek and stylish. On the front, we have the earpiece, front camera, front flash, and the 5.2 inch display with on-screen navigation buttons. On the left side, we have nothing. On the right side, we have the power button and volume rocker. On the bottom, we have the microphone and micro USB port. On the top, we have the noise canceling mic and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the back, we have the camera module with its flash, some Moto and Cricut branding, and the back cover comes off so you can install the battery, SIM card, and SD card. The device comes preloaded with minimal Cricut bloatware, which I appreciate. I dislike when carriers install a bunch of gimmicky and useless apps, so it's good to see that that's not the case here. The actual operating system itself is of course Android, and it's close to stock and runs well. The device runs Android 8.0 Oreo out of the box. Now, I personally feel that giving this device a lower resolution 720p display was a good decision because it helps the battery life and puts a lot less strain on the processor and RAM, which is not lacking at all in power to start with. You're going to get some solid battery life with the Moto E5 Cruise, and having that removable battery means that you can always get additional batteries if you think it's necessary. And it's always nice having that option. Now there are a few features that are missing from the Moto E5 Cruise that are probably not there because of its affordable price tag. There's no USB Type-C support on this device. There's no fingerprint sensor which is making its way to a bunch of other budget handsets. And there's no wireless charging. I can personally live though without all of those features. Video content on the Moto E5 Cruise plays fine. The device has decent internal speakers for its price range, and the performance of the device is nice and responsive. The split window feature works very well on this device, which conveniently gave me the ability to watch a video and browse the web at the same time. The cameras on this device are decent. The quality isn't going to be nearly as good with what you get on some of the latest flagship phones, but the Moto E5 Cruise will produce photos and videos that are worth keeping. Motorola is known for their impressive call quality, and that reputation is reinforced by the Moto E5 Cruise. In conclusion, this is a great device for $99. It runs smoothly, it has a large display with great looking colors, and it takes good looking photos and videos. Now remember that there are other variants of this device, and this review only applies to the Moto E5 Cruise. The process of setting this up with Cricut was really easy, but if you ever want to use this device with other GSM carriers, then I recommend going with the unlocking company. I'll link a video in the description that shows how that works. But let me know in the comments if you plan on buying this, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.